And my name is Ken. The Arduino is an awesome platform for learning electronics and programming, but eventually you're going to come up with a project that could benefit from either a standalone AT Mega chip or one of the smaller, inexpensive AT Tiny chips. Some friends and I have developed a shield which lets you use the Arduino development environment to program these chips. Let me give you a demonstration of just how simple it is. In the Arduino standard software, there's an example sketch called Arduino ISP, which will let you use an Arduino to program other chips. This would let you put a bootloader onto an AT Mega chip if you wanted to make an Arduino breadboard or standalone project. You can also add the functionality to the Arduino environment to program other chips, like the AT Tiny 85, which has most of the functionality of an AT Mega, including the input, analog input, and PWM output but with fewer pins. The problem is you have to wire it up every time you want to use it. You have to look up the pinouts for the chip, connect the jumpers, and in, at least in my case, troubleshoot the connections because I never get it right the first time. Here's where our shield comes in handy. You upload the Arduino ISP sketch to your Arduino, you attach the shield, and you are ready to go. A single ZIF socket holds the target chip, in place, the jumper selects which type of chip you are programming. Here I'll upload the blank sketch to an AT Tiny 85. This chip does not have the digital 13 pin like the Arduino, so I'll change it to blink the digital 3 pin. The yellow light indicates programming activity, and when the program is uploaded and complete, the AT Tiny takes over the, the pin and blinks out on digital 3 so that you can see the sketch is working. This works for not only the Arduino's standard 28 pin AT Mega 328, but also and the uh, AT Tiny 85, but it also works for the AT Tiny 84 which has 14 pins and the AT Tiny 2313 which has 20 pins. There's a wide variety of chips you can use depending on what your project needs. You can also use the shield to program chips that are already installed in circuitry if they have an ISP header included in the circuit board. Here I'm going to use the jumper to connect to a small project which I've made which has a surface mount AT Tiny 84 in place and an ISP header. Using the jumper I can program the chip using the shield just by holding the jumper in place. For some examples of some projects that I've done that have used the uh, programming shield to program the chips, uh, here's an example of a standalone AT Mega 328 project, which is a uh, controller for a model train, which uses an Arduino nunchuck as an input. So the main chip here is AT Mega 328, which is programmed using the shield. Uh, more recently, I've been helping with a workshop for ChickTech.org, where we've done uh, plushy stuffed animals. Uh, using interactive LEDs and uh, we've had to program more than a hundred AT Tiny 85s with software so that the girls can create projects like uh, this cute little puppy or this uh, interactive bracelet which, which blinks LED patterns. And then as you saw I've also kind of ventured into doing surface mount uh, chips as kind of jewelry and this too, of course, uh, really requires a programming shield because you cannot program the chip prior to having it in the circuit. You have to program it after it's soldered in place. So we started this project as a group uh, just to make us a, a tool to help make our lives easier as we worked on these other projects using different chips. Uh, we also wanted to learn how to do PCB design and uh, we used GitHub as a versioning system so we could collaborate online and we uh, came up with several different designs, tested them and uh, decided on the best one. So the final goal for the project is to get it in as the hands of as many people as possible. Uh, we're really pleased with the way it's turned out. It's been a very useful tool as you've seen from the projects I've used it on. 
and uh, so in true open source manner we're going to post the designs and uh, the layout online and we'd also like to make it into a kit form to make it as easy as possible for people to get it and use it so appreciate you taking the time to watch